Okay, this is the Lyme report and adjustment, uh, page one, sorry, page four, question one. Um, this pretty much applies to any alignment stuff, typically on uh, electude. Um, but like any alignments, camber, caster, caster, and camber um, should be adjusted first, toe last. Um, on a vehicle, we're always going to do rear first and then go to, and then go to the front. So this question asks us to line the vehicle and it does say be sure to adjust all wheels settings according to correct sequence. Sequence meaning rear first. So I'm going to go to my left rear and it's already in the green so I don't have to do anything there. If I go to the next wheel I see that my camber is out and my toe is good so I need to adjust my camber. So then I pull up my alignment report and I take a look at my right rear camber it's between point or negative 145 and negative 15. So I kind of want to find the middle ground there. That way if I'm in the middle, when I make adjustments and um, the other angles will cr cause our, our other, other angle adjustments will cause other angles to move. So if I don't put it in the middle, it may pull it out of spec and have to re go back and re readjust. So camera being 145 to 15, negative, I am just going to make sure I'm, I got to move this guy now. So, but notice my toe just went out of line, which is fine. So, if I want to be in between, one forty-five and fifteen, I'm probably going to be around that. Even on point seven five, would probably be fine. So if I bring this down to about 0.75, oops, that's a little too far, bring it back up. We'll go about, let's jump around a lot. I don't know, about, so we go with one. Then I move this guy next. So back to here, if I look at my toe, my toe is to be between 9 and 15, positive. And I can also see that this line here, my line here, this is true center, and this is the way I'm actually traveling. So when I move my toe, it should bring this line closer. As I move it, I'm in the green. I'm in the green, and you notice the line now pretty much on top of each other. We check my toe is supposed to be between 0.9 and 15. I'm Pretty much in the middle there, maybe you go a little further to 12. Now that one's good. So this one is good. This one is good. Now I go to the front, adjust front last, and I always do toe last. So my caster is pretty much where I want it to be in the green. If I check on the left front caster, it's between 39 and 209. So halfway might be around that one just over one degree and I am yeah I can go a little lower maybe just so I can have more movement so let's go about there now my camber I can adjust my camber left negative 58 to 32 so around that zero again is be pretty close just in the negative side a little bit so now I'm going to bring it down there notice my caster is moving as I do that because it will affect the angles. And now I am pretty much there in the green now, and I can recheck my camber 58 to 32, and I might be a little closer to zero, maybe to make me happy. So now I can recheck my caster to make sure I'm still close to center. Caster is to be 39 to 2, so I set around that one degree, so I could bump them up just a teeny bit there. These two are both close to center. Of my range and now I can check my toe and toe for the left front is to be negative 3 to 9 so again just over 0 is half bring it down and you can see that my caster and my camera are changing and I said I wanted to be just between yeah just under just above 0 which is about there. So all three are good. If I went back and checked my other two wheels, they're still good. All in the green, all in the green. Last wheel. The only thing out of specification right now is toe, but I already know.
these can be pulled out, but I'm pretty close to where I was, so let's just put the toe where it should be, and toe is supposed to be between negative 3 and 9, just like the other side. So I will bring it down, and I am pretty much all in the green. I can go back and check all my wheels. They're all in the green. Now I hit check, and correct, the vehicle is aligned. That's all there is to it. Follow those steps on any alignment ones you do, and you should have no problem with these questions.